why is it that I see all my errors after the trade is over? <laughs> That's a normal part of your progress, yes. You see them after the fact, then you start, then the gap between when they happen and when you see the error gets smaller and smaller and smaller until you start to see your error when it's soon after you make it, then you start to see the error before you make it. And that's a very that's a very good day when that starts to happen, you know. But let's talk about this. All right. I'm curious as to why you decided to do a clearing bar, a clearing, a clearing event off the 20 period moving average. This is one of your more powerful events. Why do that with one lot? Are you just for a while doing one lot plays? Because this is not a light play setup, right? That's a this is this should be one of your power plays, right? So I'm curious as to why you one lotted this. Ah, okay, so you were play you were downplaying because you were wanted to recover from a loss. Okay, I get it. Fine, at least there's a reason. Good. Love, okay, so love spotting the play. I would have loved to have you jump into the bar, but maybe you didn't get an opportunity to do that. I love the ad. I love the profit take. All right? Now, let's go over something here. When your stock drops, then pulls back, what's a healthy pullback as long as it doesn't do what? Go past what? 50% right? The higher it goes, the greater the odds of what? That now it pulls back to where? No new low, halfway, right? So think about this. Drop halfway but if it goes too far now it's halfway this way right does that make sense okay now look look at what it did where's halfway it goes too far now cut this one in half and watch what happens <laughs> it's like freaking magic, right? So you should be getting out here because this moved up. And when you said I made a very bad ad, I was like, that's boss ad. What is she talking about? That's a beautiful ad, but you gotta you you're adding here to get out halfway, really to get your money back, right? But you can't, ex see guys, if you, if you bounce like that, expect a new low. If you bounce like that, expect a new low. If you bounce like that, do not expect a new low anymore, right? And so that's what happened. You bounce too hard, no new low. Okay. After this, it's just the hoping game, right? This is the hoping game. But I do get it, and your stop wasn't hit. This can be you. This is enough bars to bring the stop down on top of time. So this would be a time stop. So you can have a time stop rule, Sophie. Like you can say, look, if there's if there's eight bars of you can have an eight bar stop you can have a 10 bar time stop like for eight bars or 10 bars the stocks doing nothing 
It's not triggering a stop. It's not triggering a profit take. I'm out. Time is money. Now that's optional. That's not a time stop is not mandatory. It's optional. Some traders don't like to waste. It, it makes them lose too much opportunity when they're in a stock that fails to produce something. It takes up too much of their energy, too much of their time, too much of their focus, and they're missing money. Now, a trader who's very good will tend to be a time stop trader because they're like, look, I could have made another $2,000 and I'm playing around with this thing, right? Um, but that that's an example of, you know, you say, you know what, let me just get out of this thing. Um, after going so many bars and doing nothing, okay? Because at this point, it's clear that what you thought was going to happen is ain't happening. Right? It's clear. So it's gone wrong already. So that's why I was saying now we're just in hope. I know it's gone wrong, but I hope it starts going right again. And the moment you cross over into the land of hope, you've already lost. You follow what I'm saying, Sophie? No time, but the ad was good. It's just that the ad was okay. She just should not have expected a new loan. The way something starts, the way a turn starts is very important. You see, you see, this turn was cool, right? Like, well, the way a turn starts. So you see how this turns with the most powerful pattern you know. That's a sign right there. Then the, it moves more than expected. So that along with the fact that now this is going to be support too. And if you go all the way to the right, if you take the top of your, the most powerful pattern, right? Now go all the way to the right and look. So if I was even in this trade hoping with you, if, it, if that support didn't break, right here and then it pops back up I'm killing that thing because this is your supportive power right remember these fat green bars they shoot their power to the right right they shoot their power to the right so fat bars are support now, you can get so far away from a fat bar that it stops. You put it so far in the distance that it stops being support. But the same way that this green bar shoots its power to the right, fat red bars shoot their power to the right as well. Look. You see where you, your rally came to? So your rally comes right into the range of resistance and falls back to the range of support. So now your stock is literally in its own trap zone. It's got resistance above and it's got support beneath and it's trapped. Eventually, all traps are broken, and that's when you get stopped out, when it's broken the other way.